To navigate to page 7, press and hold Program A, then press Program A six more times. Page 7 is indicated by the MIDI A and MIDI B LEDs flashing alternately. The MIDI A LED may stay solid depending on the current frequency of the Ocoast VCO, which will be discussed later in the video. The final program page is for calibration of the tuning of the Zero Coast VCO to the MIDI input, and optionally calibration of the MIDI input to the MIDI B CV output for driving an external VCO. The Ocoast arrives fully calibrated. There is no need to run the calibration routine unless you are trying to recalibrate MIDI B CV to drive a device that does not track one volt per octave, such as the Ocoast slope circuit, or you have just performed a firmware update that requires you to do so. Before running either calibration procedure, be sure the Ocoast has been powered up for at least 20 minutes without interruption. Remove all patch cables, especially MIDI cable and anything connected to the linear FM or one volt per octave inputs. To calibrate internal VCO only, adjust the gray pitch control fully counterclockwise. Set fine tune to 10 o'clock. This may result in the MIDI A window staying lit, which is okay. Press program B to run the calibration, which takes about three minutes. Once the procedure has begun, do not adjust any parameters on the zero coast. When the procedure has finished, the Ocoast will automatically exit the program pages. To calibrate to an external VCO, patch a basic waveform such as sine, square, or saw to the Zero Coast tempo input. Be sure the Ocoast has been powered up for at least 20 minutes without interruption. Patch MIDI B CV to the pitch input on the external VCO. Again, set fine tune to 10 o'clock. This may result in the MIDI A window staying lit, which is okay. Now adjust the external VCO until the program B button is also lit solid. Once both LEDs are lit solid, press program B to begin the calibration. Once the procedure has begun, do not adjust any parameters on the Ocoast or the external VCO. This process will calibrate both the zero coast oscillator and the external VCO and will take about six minutes. When the procedure has finished, the Ocoast will automatically exit the program pages. The slope circuit can also be calibrated to track the MIDI B CV output. Be sure the Ocoast has been powered up for at least 20 minutes without interruption. Again, set the pitch control fully counterclockwise. Set fine tune to 10 o'clock. This may result in the MIDI A window staying lit, which is okay. On the slope circuit, patch the end of cycle output to the tempo input and MIDI B CV to the time input. Engage cycling, set rise to minimum, response to linear, then adjust fall until the program B button is lit solid. Press program B to begin the calibration.